Greetings to Documenting My Life Day 47. Today was a crazy day. It was my last day before camp. But first, I have a bit of catching up to do. After we went on to Broadway for those shows, it was about time for the Nutcracker auditions. And thankfully, me and Anna both got Clara friends. Equal parts. After the Nutcracker, all of us went on to our usual groups. Tara, Amber, Anna, and me, Katrina, Joyce, and Bella. Though I do admit it hasn't really been the same. Harper, are you going to spend the whole night writing? No. Well, it's almost midnight. Oh shoot, it is. And we have to get to Boston in enough time at 3 a.m. We're not driving. We're taking a plane. No way you would be able to survive a 14-hour car ride with my mom. And why is that? Have you ever heard the show Friends? You know what? Forget what I said. The plane will do. <gasps> show is too overrated for my taste. Then what do you like if you don't like a perfect 90s show? Well, I don't really know. Watching The Lion King at your place was the first time I've ever seen that. Oh dear. What? Have you ever seen Frozen? Um, no. Oh dear, forget anything else, we're doing that! If you say so. Harper! Hi. So, why did you spend the last two weeks in Kentucky? Coincidence that you two were on the same plane and got off together. I already told you I was meeting up with Leo, remember? The one I met that, at that class a couple years ago? How did you even run into someone from that family? They're like, really famous. Off topic, Tara, but we need to get to camp. I was really hoping we would get in a cabin with Joyce and Bella. Well, I don't see anything wrong with the group that we have. Uh, right. I'm gonna go find the other cabins. I could request the switch cabins. Just say our parents and not want us in the same room or something. No, no, no. Katrina can be cluggish sometimes. You're staying here. Are you sure I rather not- if Katrina says anything, I'll handle her. I am requesting a room change ASAP. Oh, I didn't know we were so unbearable. Listen up, you two. If you think to move any of our things, you'll regret it. Just so you know, you two aren't Pennywise. You two are about as scary as the Sanderson sisters. You'll regret that. Don't you even think about putting your hands on them. Well, the third Sanderson sister has arrived, apparently. Did you just insult yourself? Are you five fighting? No. no. Yeah, right. Well, Counselor James is doing orientation in five minutes, which looks like you'll be late too. All right, let's move quick. Hello, campers, students, and Counselor James, but you can just call me James. Today, I'm here to talk about the basics of what you'll need to know. First off, all of you are required to come to the ones that have a mandatory next to them for classes, since apparently most of you can't read. And then the second thing is, at the end of camp, we will meet up with our other locations and do a competition in Toronto, which you can work on the dances in your free time. No more than the trio. Any questions? Yes. Where can we request to switch cabins? Our cabins are actually all full at the moment, so only if another camper is willing to switch with you, then you can come to me. Stupid counselors. Now let the games begin.